Up to the latest on the mass shooting in Sacramento that left six dead and a dozen, dozen others injured. Police making an arrest in the case. Meanwhile, the outcry against gun violence grows louder. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the latest. Just one day after that shooting that killed six and injured a dozen others in downtown Sacramento, police announcing the arrest of one suspect believed to be involved. Investigators taking 26-year-old Dondre Martin into custody Monday morning on assault and illegal firearm possession. We need probably about another five, ten officers. The barrage of gunshots going off just after 2 a.m. on Sunday before a crowd of people near a popular nightlife area. According to police, the crime scene stretching across at least two city blocks. More than 100 shell casings found at the scene. We know that a large fight took place just prior to the shootings, and we have confirmed that there are multiple shooters. By Monday afternoon, police say they'd already served search warrants at three homes and have recovered at least one handgun. Investigators receiving more than 100 photos and videos to help in their investigation. Pamela Harris says her son Sergio, a father of young daughters, was among those who were killed. It's a hurtful feeling to know that you seen your child that one day and then they're gone the next day. This is the latest incident in a string of recent mass shootings. In a statement overnight, President Joe Biden demanding more action on guns, saying Congress urgently needs to ban ghost guns, require background checks for all gun sales, ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines, and repeal gun manufacturers immunity from liability. The mayor of Sacramento echoing the president's plea. It is beyond time to have a sane conversation about guns in America. We have a sickness. Until they catch these people, I'm not going to be able to process anything. This has got to stop. This has been going on for too long. It's not just Sacramento. It's all over. And police have identified the six who were killed. They also say they found a stolen handgun at the scene and that surveillance cameras may have captured part of the shooting. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.